Kristen Modafferi was just 18 years old when she went missing in the San Francisco area. She had moved there for the summer to take a photography course at the University of California at Berkeley. She was to return home to North Carolina at the end of summer to begin her sophomore year at North Carolina State. She was working two jobs, one at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art and another at Spinelli's Coffee Shop in the Crocker Galleria Mall. It was here where the last confirmed sighting of her was on June 23, 1997. She told co-workers at Spinelli's that she was thinking of visiting Baker Beach after her shift ended at 3 p.m. She was seen around 3.45 p.m. speaking with a blonde woman on the second floor of the mall. That woman has not been identified and she has not come forward. She was also seen on video surveillance withdrawing cash from a Wells Fargo ATM. She lived with four male roommates in Oakland. They did not know her very well, so when she didn't return home on the 23rd, they really didn't think too much about it. She did not show up for the first day of her photography class on the 24th, which was not like her. She also did not collect her paycheck from Spinelli's. It was only several days later after Kristen's father left a voicemail on the house phone that one of the roommates returned his call and told him that no one had seen Kristen for three days. She would be reported missing on the 27th. Police, the family, and a private investigator set about looking for her. Police bloodhound tracked her scent to the Mooney 38 Geary bus from outside the Galleria. Her scent was also noted near the end of the bus route at Sutra Heights Park. There was a copy of a Bay Guardian newspaper in Kristen's room with a personal ad circle. The newspaper purged its files and so we can't know who placed the ad and we don't know whether or not Kristen ever responded to it. But here it is. Despite covering the area in flyers and the searches by police and others, nothing turned up until July 10, 1997, when a man called KGO TV claiming that Kristen was murdered by two women. This turned out to be a false implication by a male who was seeking to get two women who worked with his girlfriend fired from her job at the local YMCA. The male lived near the Galleria at the time and has since moved to Hawaii. He's not been named a suspect in the case. The FBI say they have cleared the male and his girlfriend in the case. In 2015, a cadaver dog indicated the presence of human remains in the basement of the house where Kristen had lived. The dog handler recommended police to excavate a concrete slab in the basement. At the time Kristen disappeared, the house next door was a halfway house for convicted felons, a fact that was only discovered in 2015. Oakland police would dig up the area, but the lead was ruled inconsequential, and one of the investigators on the case, now retired, believes that Kristen didn't make it home to her home, her house that day. An FBI contact told the San Francisco Gate that they do not suspect foul play in Kristen's case. If this is not a case of foul play, Kristen may have met with an accidental fall, the Land's End area faces the Pacific, and a fall could well be an unforgiving one. The end of the trail on that beach is described as treacherous, treacherous, where a number of people every year are washed off the rocks and never seen again. It's a possibility that investigators covered when they consulted the Oceanic Administration. Had she fallen into the water in the area, currents would have pushed her toward Monterey. There are a number of areas where remains might have caught up, including caves that are far too dangerous to even send divers in to search. Kristen was five foot six and 140 pounds when she disappeared. She had brown hair and brown eyes. She had clear facial dimples. She may have been carrying a green Jansport brand backpack with a black mesh pocket in the front. She was wearing a black Spinelli coffee t-shirt, beige pants, and a blue plaid shirt. Now, if you know anything at all about where Kristen went after she left Spinelli's at the Galleria Mall, no matter how insignificant you think the information is or how small, please come forward and talk to the Oakland Police Department. The contact is on the screen.
Thank you for listening.